So in this video, I'm going to be going over what Git is. So I'm going to be talking about the concept behind it. Now I'm not gonna, I'm not going to necessarily go into the you know the details and the workflow and everything. We're going to leave that for later when we get some experience with all the other requirements that we need, such as the terminal. But for now, I just want to give you a general idea of what Git is before we start using it, so that you just have some sort of conceptual understanding of what it is. So let's get started. So before we talk about Git, I need to talk about source control because Git isn't just some independent software. It's based on a larger group of software called source control or version control. So basically what it is, it's some system or some software that allows you to track changes or you know track your file progress in a project or directory over time. So it allows you to distribute your changes over a timeline in chronological order. So you can see here there is a little picture that shows you how this looks like. Obviously this is an oversimplified representation of what source control looks like, but you can see there's multiple nodes and they're branching out and it's just in a sort of timeline fashion. Now, not all source control is like this with multiple branches and all this complex, but it's just a way to allow you to take snapshots of your project over time. So for example, if you wanna go back in time and view your project, you can. So it's not just like you have one project, you work on it, and when you're finished, you can only view the finished product. What, what Git and what source control allows you to do is view how your project has progressed over time. So it's really useful. So it's not just viewing your project. There's a lot of things that source control allow you to do that you might not necessarily be able to do without it. So firstly, and pretty obviously, which I explained in the previous section, was being able to distribute your file changes over time. So put it in a timeline and just extend it out so that you can see your progress over the certain time period from when you started the project to when you finished. On top of that, there's a few other you know, benefits to using source control. One of them is to prevent against data loss or damage. Now, you probably have no idea how this works, but pretty much, let's just say that you're working on a project. For example, some big scalable system enterprise, uh, let's just say you're working for a company. Now, let's say you mess up big time and you make something or you do something in the code that you break and you don't know how to fix it. You know, it's irreversible. Now, Without source control, this would be an absolute disaster because if you don't have backups, you're pretty much in the ground because if you don't have backups again, you can't recover your code and if it's irreversible, you're gonna have to start from the ground. But that's not the point. Most companies would have backups today, but what source control allows you to do is if you mess up, you can easily go back in time to the latest working copy that you saved and start over. So you can keep doing this over and over again as many times as you want. So this is a really big benefit to source control and is why a lot of people use it. So it's really great. So the second one here is manage complex project structures. So like I was saying before, it just helps to deal with bigger projects. So one of the most notable examples is Linux. So if you go on the if you go on GitHub and you search for Linux, what you're actually going to find is a repository for Linux and it's a massive project. Linux is, is one of the biggest projects on GitHub today. So it has hundreds of thousands of commits from contributors all over the world because it's open source. But the thing is, without it, imagine how an operating system or a browser or anything that is a huge project would look like. It's really hard to manage your structures if you just have one snapshot, just one piece. Now sure you can go through and make updates and copies, but with source control, it allows you to branch out and experiment and have different sections of your code that you can manage independently. So if this doesn't make much sense to you, don't worry about it. It's not that important for you, uh, unless you're working as a senior engineer for, for example, Oracle. So don't worry about that too much, but it just allows you to manage complex structures very easily. So that's pretty much it for what you can do with source control. But why don't we actually talk about Git here? You can actually see the logo right there. So Git, now that I've explained source control, I don't really need to explain Git because Git is just a source control software. And it was created by the same person who created Linux. 
and it was actually created to manage Linux. So it's just a regular old source control software and it's similar to others. And I'm going to just go back a slide. One of the most notable or other very popular ones are Merc uh, Mercur Mercurial, sorry. Uh, that's a very popular source control software that is used as an alternative to Git. And there's a few others here, but Mercurial is one of the most popular. But there's a few advantages to using Git over such as any one of these other source control softwares. The first is it's the most popular source control software in the world out of by far. It is the most popular and it has the most support. So here it has a lot of documentation, support, courses, just like this one, videos. You can find them all over the place because Git is the industry standard for source control. On top of that, it has integration with many applications. So I'll give you one example, source tree, the one, the GUI that we're going to be using later. But that's a little bit um, pretty obvious because it's a source control GUI. It's, it needs to be integrated. So I'll give you a better example. There is a hosting. It's called Heroku. So it allows you to host large Node.js apps. You don't need to know what that means if you don't. But pretty much what you have to do is in order to push something or, you know, take your website live or take your application live, you need to have a Git repository uh, on GitHub or wherever else. But you need to have a repository that you can push into Heroku so that it can host on its platform. So that's one use. And you can see that GitHub, Git and all of this source control is very widely used and it has a lot of integration. So a lot of different software requires these applications to you know work with their platform so i'm just gonna you know have a quick summary before we go off so git is just a source or version control software just one of many out there but we're using it because it's the most popular and most supported source control software in the world as well as having lots of integration so i hope this video gave you a little bit of an insight onto what source control is what git is and why most importantly we're using git because I could do a course on any other source control. It's almost all the same with some variation in syntax. I could have done almost any other one, but I'm using it because it's the most popular and you can take away the most value from learning this skill. All right, let's move on.